Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back again with Fake Grand Order. As you can see here, I have gotten my BB to almost the maximum. I'm gonna wait for level 90 for when Gilfest is here, just because I am... Who man. It's just real rough in terms of grinding right now, and I can't focus on EXP grinding, but I did get BB to at least level 80. So let me quickly... I think it's... No, it's not based on level. It should be somewhere around here. Should be in the 80s in Moon Cancer, so she should be right here. For some reason, they're showing the wrong outfit. I put BB under my. Maybe under profile? Doesn't matter. Anyway, today's video, I am going to be farming some more of the summer. I'm getting closer and closer to actually reaching part two. I have not reached part two because I've been busy with. had to take a break with the Dokkan World Tournament. And of course, the one time I come here to grind, it's the end of the day loop, so I have to go to the Melancholy of the Demon Prince or whatever. But that's going to be today's video, so I'm going to pause this. Actually, I'm so tired of grinding. Can the video just be... No, I promise. Um, I'll see you guys after this is done. I'll, I'm going to read this to me myself personally. Alright, alright, I'm back. Okay, so... Here's the basic team setup. Because BB gives 30% to points boost, I figured I would be able to replace Ryder Ishtar with uh, Achilles here. And I'll only be using a friend Scotty and then going to be using it with BB. So I'll go in here and kind of explain my reasoning behind it. So the only way I was able to really loop with, um, with Ishtar was that I had to make sure that she killed the middle when she had at least one quick card, and at best, one quick card and one arch card. If she didn't have that, then I ran into a lot of issues. Now with BB here, this is what I can do now, which helps a whole bunch. Um, you see these are my command cards? Lock. From now on, those are just my command cards. So, this next part's pretty easy, because I just go like this. And now I'll always have those cards, and that means I will always have, um... I basically have this locked down perfectly. There's no way for me to lose. This is a very specific form of grinding when I guess you don't have... If you don't want to use... Because let me be honest, I have a waiver. I have plenty of support casters, but I also want to use it with the least amount of units possible. Um, and this is me using it with the least amount of units possible. Um... The other reason I'm using Achilles over Ishtar is that Achilles has a way to charge his NP by himself. And then I'm also using this um, command code, which gives him the ability to um, have NP gain for one turn, which is going to help a whole bunch. And he's only really NP1. This would work, I think, with just about anyone, I think. As long as they had, um, this would work with uh, Berserk, uh, Lancelot if he was NP2. This would work with so many other units, as long as they could kill the entire field. There you go, and then you'll see here. Boom. Straight to 100%. It's better than the two Scotty system, just because if I use two Scotties, then what happens is that Achilles just kills everything, and I get less points. So, this is the way I'm kind of be going for this one. And I'm going to be seeing how I can incorporate BB into other things. The funny thing is, is that I'm not really using BB as a form of an attack thing. Uh, but the reason is, is that my BB is not built up. So like she, a lot of BB's build up requires her to have that um, second NP in action. And to have some supports to go with her. I just don't have the, I don't have the time to grind her up to level 10 at the moment. So for right now, she'll just help the team by doing this, and then he will completely kill her and get 100% NP back, I think. No, he won't. See, that's why that, um, that's why that Mystic Code is very important. It's a very good Mystic Code, too. It's fantastic with the NP gain. I think it gives 50% NP, or 100, I can't remember. It's enough, though. It's definitely enough. Ooh, man. So yeah, that's the kind of team I'm using now for this node, and I'm going to be using it until, I think... Pretty close. I think I have only... Wow, not very much now that I look at it. I'm pretty soon going to have to move on to the next one. I figured out this team just for it to be destroyed at the end. <laughs> it's fine. Man, so while I'm waiting to get a Scotty friend, because this is actually the hardest part of anything. Uh, sure, we'll go with this one. That's fine with me. Um, 
I don't know if you checked out that live stream from Fate, Fate Grand Order for the 5th year anniversary. I'm looking for, I, funny enough, I pulled on my JP account, did two multis and a ticket, and I got the, um, the, the brand new caster, uh, caster Artoria, as everyone's calling her. So this is another, oops, yeah, I did the right thing. Use that real quick. Go here. Perfect. And then, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fine from here on out. Um, what was I talking about? So yeah, that new... Um, that new caster is really good for arts. Um, she won't be coming to NA for like another two years because she's literally tied to an anniversary, so there's no way for them to... One, they would never even think about um, making NA go faster. That's just something that's not in their cards at the moment. Um, but I have a lot to look forward to in two years. Right now, I'm really enjoying Quick. Um, I think Quick is fun. In two years' time, though, maybe it'll be time to switch to Arts. I do have her again. I did pull her on my JP account. I just don't know if I actually have it in me to grind my JP account. I'm already running myself ragged with one uh, fake Grand Order account. I can't imagine actually trying to seriously play with two of them. I think I would die. Really, the main purpose I have for my second fake Grand Order account is to just like look at um, is to look at JP and occasionally pull, um, and it works perfectly fine for that. But yeah, a lot of weird things coming. Double buffs for units with strengthenings, which is the thing I'm maybe the most kind of cautious about. I just don't know. By the way, if you're watching this, I forgot to say if you should leave a like or not, but you should totally should. Um, people in fake in the fake Grand Order videos have been very good at leaving likes and helping me grow, which I thank you a whole bunch, because it's going to be... I'm already pretty built up in Dragalia to a point that I'm very happy, and I love all my Dragalia people, and now I just need to also build up my fate stuff from the ground up, basically. <laughs> anyway, to get back to what I was talking about, yeah, the strengthening is something like Emiya getting double... It's funny that I made that, like, beginner's guide, and I was like, oh yeah, Herc and... Uh, Herc and Ku and Emiya are perfectly good starting units, and then they got strengthenings two years later that just make them even better starting units. It's kind of insane. Oh man. Fate. It's a trickle mistress for sure. And I got 400,000, so it is time to switch to the other side. Mmm. That's annoying. Oh, damn it. What's even the, the other side? Let me see. We'll figure out in real time what my other side team is. Well, let me look at some of this. What could I use? I need ice. Give me that ice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible Iraqi impression. Uh, I'll be right back when I look at the the guide of where to go next because I forgot the damn name. All right, brand new node, similar type of build except for I've replaced my uh, my good old boy with Ushi here and see how this goes. I fully expect this because this is my first run through. I don't expect it to go very well, but hey, you never know. Let's try it out. You never know until you try. Uh, the important thing here, and probably the actual hard thing here, now that I think about it, is trying to get enough points on turn one. So I need her to have at least 50% NP at the beginning for this to work out, I think. Let me see. Let's see, let's see. And Berserkers are kind of annoying because they're big-ass sponges. Hmm. I might have to push everything on turn one? Let's see. Not too bad. <laughs> I didn't hear that she says aloha, that's funny. Oh, I forgot, Ushi has her own way of doing things. Never mind. Uh, no, I don't like that uh, set up here, so... I think I'll go... This. Yahoo! Okay, let's see how this goes. I need to have at least 10% return to me. No, I think I need 20% for it to work out for me. Uh, 
Uh, not very good. This is the problem when you don't have two quick arts cards. Ooh, this is rough. Damn it! <laughs> That's very bad. Um, hmm. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop this here. I'm doing this just basically as a test to see if this is even possible. Because I didn't realize the two turner is at this turn. Uh, she should be able to do enough damage to kill him, I think. And then, then I'll use this. I might have to use that on turn um, turn one, just because I don't have um, I don't I need to I need to up her skill at level one, and I'm waiting to, for saving a lot of skills for when Gilfest shows up. Uh, just because it's easier to save up everything there. I didn't kill someone with an overkill, so that's not very good. That's not a very good sign. Okay, that's a good sign. All right. Not good. All right, I've reset the turn, so start by doing that. Lower the defense. Do a little bit of this. I have to remember as well, because this is something that I'm definitely going to have to work on. This is also the part of the game that I don't show a lot of people, that this is me trying to work it out of my head. So here's what she needs, is that she needs a lot more to, in theory, make this work with only one Scotty and having BB lock in her cards. She's going to need a lot. She's, she's getting a lot of help from... I don't think that's enough. Mm, that's troublesome. It's very troublesome. I don't know if I could do this with Ushi, to be honest. Especially since she was being helped by, um... Oh, damn it! You know what I should have done? I should have done this. Uh... No, no, it doesn't increase the crit attack. Never mind. Yeah, the problem is, is that she needs uh, higher than 4, and she needs higher than 7 for this. That's what I'm currently feeling. Let's see if she could even kill- I don't think she'd be able to do it, honestly. Mm, you know what I might need? I might need two quick cards instead of one quick- uh, instead of one quick card. So I actually need two quick cards, maybe. Hmm, I'm gonna definitely test it. I don't think she's gonna be able to kill Penth. But double quick card might be better because having only one arts card isn't really seeming to be helping me all that much. Yeah, and at this point, she's gonna... It's okay damage. It's not the greatest, though. And yeah, that's the problem of, like, she deals so little damage with her arts card. Hmm. I'll figure it out. I'll work on this. But, eh, let's see. May as well. May as well fight Penth for now. I should have given, um, Ushi that ability that removes buffs. Would have helped you right there. It's fine. Jesus Christ, Beth, calm the hell down, girl. Alright, let's see. Uh, uh, that's not very good. Show Walter what now? There we go. Should be enough to kill, I think. So yeah, that's it for today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to be working on this team next now. Find out next episode if I'm ever if I'm actually able to get um, Ushi working or not. That's, a, that's something I'll figure out. Alright, until next time, everyone. Goodbye.